We have set up here a side-by-side -side comparison of operation of a industry standard helium neon laser and a high power SLM series single longitudinal mode uh, laser diodes produced by PDLD. This is a classical Michelson interferometer with uh, one arm with variable length that is set up on the sliding stage. The outputs of the two lasers, of the helium neon laser and the uh, uh, SLM series laser diode fed here by the optical fiber are uh, mixed here on this beam splitter and then they travel the common path to the first beam splitter here. This is the short arm of the Michelson interferometer. The light is uh, reflected by this prism and goes to the camera. The long arm is folded with these two mirrors and then is reflected back by this prism. Both beams meet on the camera over there and these spots can be seen on this part of the screen. This is a spot produced by helium neon laser and this is a spot of the SLM series laser diode. It is, can be seen even by eye that the fringe contrast of a helium neon laser spot is not constant with time and is not perfect, whereas the fringe contrast of a SLM series laser diode is, is uh, uh, nearly perfect. This uh, parameter is calculated as uh, automatically using slices of this interference pattern which, I can, which can be seen here on the screen and they're plotted as function of time on this graph. One can see that uh, fringe contrast of the interference pattern produced by SLM series laser diode is very uh, high and constant with time whereas fringe contrast produced by Helium neon laser is variable with time and it will also depend on the path length difference of the interferometer. Currently it's set up to operate with 120 centimeters path length difference and uh, coherence length of a helium laser is, is uh, not quite as good. In addition to having superior performance in terms of coherence length, the SLM series laser dies produce much higher power. This laser is set up to operate at 50 milliwatt free space output whereas uh, helium neon laser of this size will typically produce only 3 milliwatt. 